what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? While many Americans are struggling to self-quarantine at home for weeks on end during the COVID-19 pandemic, thousands more are in prisons around the country trying to survive. I mean, scratching, struggling, trying to stay alive. A prisoner in Ohio at FCI Elkton unit, it's a low security fed unit in Ohio. He posted a video illustrating the conditions in the prison that he's in. He said three people have died so far of COVID-19. And although right now he's COVID-19 negative, he showed us pictures, well, video of a couple other guys who he says has been infected with COVID-19. He showed the conditions. Trying to, I guess, help people to how difficult it would be for someone to social distance in a prison. Now, I know some of y'all sitting back, well, you know, don't do the crime if you can't do the time. You know, shouldn't have did what you did. First and foremost, we all get that. And you're corny as hell with all of that old talk about if you don't do the crime, if you can't do the time. Because we know that first and foremost, everybody ain't guilty. Secondly, we know that people make mistakes. Some of you who say that have made mistakes that could have landed you in jail. And the only reason why you didn't go to jail is because you didn't get caught. So let's get off the high horse and stop trying to act like you're special. These are human beings. These are human beings who have family just like you, have family that love them despite what their shortcomings might be. They have family that love them. Everybody that's in prison is not a throwaway. Granted, yeah, there are a few out there, man, that, you know, hey, man, just cannot coexist among the civilized. I get that. There are a few out there. Dylan Roof comes to mind. Charles Barkley comes to mind and a few others. But I do believe that most people that are in prison are people, are good people who made a mistake. Good people who something bad happened to. You dig what I'm saying? And so I just feel like people that don't have uh, more flexibility, there's something wrong with those type of people because None of us are perfect. We've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And if you keep on waking up, if you ain't made that major mistake yet, if you ain't did nothing, you keep waking up. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, it'll come a time. Keep waking up. Somebody you really, 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 really love and don't want to see harmed or see in jail doing a bunch of time. It's going to happen to them. And then what are you going to say? You ain't got to wait until it happened to you to have empathy. These are human beings. The dude showed a picture of what he said was a makeshift mortuary. He showed us tent, tent outside on the basketball court. And this is what he's saying, that they basically left them there to die. This dude said he has less than a year left in prison. He said he was there on a drug charge. Now, it's a whole lot of people in jail on drug charges. Probably, if I was to take a wild guess, probably 
30, 40% of the people in prison are there on drug charges. And the thing is, the people that look down on these guys are the same people who look up to doctors and pharmacists. They're doing the same thing. It's just one is legal. One is a pharmaceutical drug. One is, and, and the other is an illicit drug. You got the streets and then sweets. It's the only difference. It's just like weed. People look down on people with weed for years, looking down on people that sold weed for years. Now they're looking up to the people that sell weed because they didn't figure out a way to tax it. It's an enterprise now. You can go in the store and just buy some weed now. But just a few years ago, you sold weed. Ooh, he sold weed. He sell weed. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, it's an amazing place that we live in, huh? got to be careful, man. You got to be careful about looking down on people who make mistakes. Looking down on people who are already down. Trying to kick somebody who's already down. Not a good look. These people need help. These people are human beings who will likely reintegrate into society at some point. Do you want these people coming out of prison acting like animals or you want them to come out acting like decent, law-abiding, empathetic people? Because treating people like that, man, that's not, that's not, that's not a good look. You're only going to get a bad coming from that, you know? You treat people with dignity, treat people like they're worth something, and then they start to believe it. Even if they don't believe it in the beginning. Anyway, I'll put a link in the description so you guys can check out the video yourself. Perhaps you might want to make a phone call or send an email or a letter to your congresswoman or congressman or senator or governor. I was about to say president, got ahead of myself. It would be useless to send him anything because he's probably on the toilet eating Cheetos and Big Macs and drinking Coca-Cola and washing it down with Kentucky Fried Chicken. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.